Salutations, wet shavers. Spencer here, back for another shave. A video. <laughs> Holy moly, that scared me. So, <laughs> salutations, wet shavers. Spencer here, back for another shave video. Today, I'm sort of excited and sort of not excited to use this soap. What it is, is grooming department credence. This is by far the worst smelling soap I've smelt in my life. Now I haven't smelt it in a couple of days, it's been sitting in the container building up all of its disgusting scentness in here. What it's meant to be, with all jokes aside, what it's meant to be is lemon and violet. So it's meant to be a citrusy floral scent. Not wanting to open the lid but I gotta, I gotta give my impressions guys. What I get from it is... Dog treats. And I don't know, man, it's, it's like a mix between dog treats and used urinal pucks. You know those? I'm serious, guys. It is not a good scent whatsoever. It got discontinued by the guy over at grooming department. Now, one, probably what you guys are going to think is very stupid thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my favorite brush in it. I just wanted to use something that I've just loved the feel of, and that is the Masetto Shaving 30mm fan. This is Finest Badger, and it barely ever sheds. I hear a few people say that it sheds a little bit. Uh, but with this one, I sometimes get one a shave. The worst I've had is two a shave, but normally I don't get any. So I'm going to use that with this and see if, when I put it on the face, if it sort of dies down a bit. I just hope the stench doesn't stain the brush too much, but I'll work it out eventually. So I can smell it from here, man. It's just god awful. I did a test lather though. Holy shit, the lather was awesome on it. Really good lather on it. Like really good stuff. So so I'll uh, I'll give you guys my thoughts on that. We've just had one hair shed, so knowing my luck. I'm going to shed a lot of hairs in this video, so whenever I say how good something is, it doesn't normally show it, <laughs> especially the scent. I'm surprised you guys can't smell it through the camera, man. So if the owner of grooming department ever watches this video, I'm sorry for the negative upload, but it, it has to be done. I need to give my review and my opinions on it, and it's terrible. It's... It's a hideous smelling soap. I There's nothing in there that I feel works. It's not a zesty lemon or anything. It's very artificial and very sour and very off sort of smell. So that's well of enough of a load. I don't want to smell like the brush too much. But with the test leather, I'm actually quite excited to see the actual feel of the soap. So with that, I'm using my favorite razor and blade combo, which is a Rocknell Elite Series. Uh, this is just a stainless steel. Uh, this has got a feather on its second use. So I've been loving this razor death. Absolutely brilliant. So we're going to paint this on. Let's hope the scent doesn't explode and get really strong when it lathers. It's not good, man. It's not, it's not good, but oh, people were looking forward to seeing my face smelling it. So that is, that seriously, I'm not over exaggerating it on the stench. I'm really not. I promise. But when a negative review has to be done, it has to be done. Like it's this was given to me to review, not by the owner by a good friend of mine just to post my thoughts on it so that's what I'm doing sorry for if you're offended by uh, somewhat by this or if you've got it and you love it don't think that I'm correct don't think that some people might get this soap and for some reason think that it smells amazing and that is totally up to you because surely the owner would have had to have really liked this scent, otherwise he wouldn't have made it. But he did discontinue it, so that sort of tells you something. 
I'm really excited to try some of his other soaps though, which I, I do have one on the way. And I'm really excited for that one. That is the one with the duck on the front. It's called Mallard or something. It's the same formula. And that's what I'm really excited about. Tallow and duck formula. So it's got duck fat and tallow in it. So I'm expecting the post shave to feel awesome. The brush feels amazing, whips up a beautiful lather. Tony Tony did find a listing for this. 49 Australian dollars for this. Just insane value for money. So if, you, if you're interested in buying it, just pop a comment in and I'll, I'll try find that link again and I'll, I'll um, send you the link because it really is just as good as a declaration. I'm, I'm really not, so that was a second hair right there. So this is, it, it is out of the ordinary. I don't normally lose this many, um, but be wary because I've heard some people have lost hairs and I've heard some people not get gelled and hook tips from, from the Macedo brushes. Because my 24mm, that barbershop style one, that faux horn one that I posted a while ago, beautiful feeling brush, but no gel tips, and I lathered that a lot. So, I don't know. I think I may have just been very, very lucky. Because I've heard some people have not got those tips going for them. Just as I thought, guys. That's number three. Wait. Is that my hair? No, that's number three. And that lather's really good. It feels awesome on the face, it does. And this, yeah, I can just smell it. It's, yeah, no. <laughs> nope. No. But let's get cracking with this shave. Oh, that's just heaven. If any of you guys have used Paradigm razors, can you give me your thoughts on Paradigm? I've never used one. I've heard a couple of really good things from experienced high-end razor users. Because if you guys didn't know, I'm trying to scale down, but move up at the same time. So get rid of a lot of my mid-tier and low-tier gear. No tiggy. And move up to the higher end stuff. So I'm trying. Beautiful. The soap feels awesome, really slick. Very nice. So I'm pretty sure this is the same formula as what's in Mallard, but Mallard was 30... One of you Aussies will be able to correct me if I'm wrong, 36 or $35 on the straight whisker. I'm not paying that much for a soap, man. I'm not paying $36. I mean, I know I got high-end gear and stuff, but... 36 Oh... <laughs> <laughs> Got a little bit in my mouth. <laughs> Tastes as good as it smells, man. Well, worse. I know I've got high-end gear and stuff, but... No. Nah. Thirty-six is too much, so... Organised a... Little box to come over from JR at Race Restores. He's hitting me up again. Absolute legend, this guy. He, he doesn't stop with his generosity. He's brilliant. And another Oleo soap works. I think it's by Oleo. The choc, the um, choc, chocolatel or whatever it is with the exit, the start by Chicano Shaver. I think it was his. So. 
I've got that soap and splash coming in too. Uh, a couple of other things too. A set from the club. So I'm keen to try that. That looks awesome. Can't wait. Oh. Sigil slickness and feel on the face, quite good. Nothing crazy, but it's quite good. Yeah, feels hydrated. Not super slicky like holy core or holy cow, sorry. Not used to it. Um, well, that sort of stuff, but. What a great little brush this is. Well, little, it's a 30 millimeter, it's huge, but. I always think of it as a small brush because it's not tall. It just feels awesome on the face. It just feels like, when I'm painting, it feels exactly like, oh no, don't tell me. Don't tell, oh no. Yeah, number four. Uh -huh. We're going for a record with this brush. Don't tell me it's going to do a um, Chris Chris Maiden with the, what was it, Morrison Fonder. Don't tell me it's going to do that and start shedding like a mother. No razor is more comfortable going against the grain here than this razor. No double edge, by the way. The supply razor is slightly smoother than this razor, but the efficiency and the feel on the face just wins it for me. I get just as close to shaves, if not closer with this. Because it's slightly more efficient. The supply is very mild. I'm shocked Chris didn't like this. Just shocked. And I know that the original owner of the Rock Nell was shocked as well. He thought he'd love it. I just get amazing shades. Some people aren't huge on feather blades. So for Chris on the face, it might just not be his cup of tea. I don't know. Some blades work in some razors with people. That's why you, you really have to take reviews with a grain of salt. Even this one on this soap. Seriously, you only take it with a grain of salt. You just, just try things and... And you'll see what works for you. See, feathers work really well for me because in a lot of areas of my face, it's very coarse, so you need the sharpness. I used to get smooth blades, but now I can't use them because they tug too much. Especially here. Very, very um, coarse there. So nothing flies through it like a feather. Very nice. I love this razor. I shaved oh, two days ago. So it's been two days growth uh, with the Icon SBS. Was it last night? Might have been last night. 
with the Icon SBS. Just giving it a round two of my thoughts and still not great, man. I used an Astra, which felt a lot better. And then I reversed the side, which was also a bit better. But just overall, it's not a great razor for my face. It's a little bit too heavy for the size. It's a bit top heavy. I just don't, I'm not as comfortable with it with other ra as other razors. Holy shit, that's close. That's awesome. I might do a bit of Allen block and then maybe Witch Hazel. I don't know. Or I might just leave it because it feels quite nice on the face at the moment. I just got a couple of spots. So, squeeze that off. Woo! Oh yeah. I'm definitely going to be lathering up this brush with a couple of nice soaps. Ugh. But, performance, really, really good stuff. That is premium feeling lather. That feels great. Um, just to send the soap, not good, in my opinion. Um, let me know if you've tried it and you've liked the thought, uh, like the smell. But I don't think you will. So, that, that's just my opinion. Um, just dropped another hair out of here, so that's five. That's very annoying for me. That might switch the top of my brush leader around back over to the declaration or something. I don't know. Oh yeah, look at that. That's from the SBS. It bumped up my skin here and here. Um, yeah, it's annoying. So I might just put alum I'm bleeding. A little bit of sting there. Nothing absolutely crazy. Just a nice little zing on the face. Just on the neck there, should be good. And then I'll have a shower and then put some post shave on afterwards. I'll probably use a balm today, see how I go. Um, might use the Parasso balm. I can still smell it on my skin. That's not too nice. So yeah, I'll definitely have a shower to wash all that off. But other than that, the performance of everything, fantastic, felt amazing. So let's run through what we used. We used the Rocknell Elite Series with a feather on its second use. Normally I only get two or three uses, so I might only be able to push out one more use of this. But best razor and blade combo I've ever used. It works better than a Feather ASD2, which is made for the feathers. Still feels fantastic and great daily driver. But that just beats it, it's great. Macedo shaving. 20, uh, 20, 30 mil finest fan. Smells disgusting. <laughs> we used Grieving Department Credence, no more on the scent of that. The performance was fantastic. So that's, that's mainly sort of what you want to get out of it. See what a soap base is like. Scents are very subjective, but in most cases, soap bases are quite, you know, most people know a really good soap base when they feel it. So Works great for me, uh, lathers really well, loaded up nice and heavy, great lather, feels nice, thick, and just beautiful density on the face, very good. Um, got a couple of weepers from the Icon SBS, just ran back over the irritation, that's fine, that's going to clear up eventually. Um, that's everything guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and have a fantastic weekend. What day is it today? Saturday. So you guys are coming into your Saturday now over in America. Um, yeah, take care of yourselves. Enjoy the weekend. Uh, everyone stay positive and I'll catch you in the next video. Uh, see you later.